Hi everybody, it's Susan from Sunrise Quilt Studio and today I'm going to do some quilting on my domestic machine. Now I, it's going to be a small project, it's just a 16 inch block that I'm quilting and what I'm doing is making a table topper for um, a vintage record cabinet. So this one comes from I'm thinking the 1940s, 1950s and um, it needs something on the top and I'm going to make a little topper for it out of a 16 inch quilt block. So I hope you stay with me and I'll show you how I'm doing this. Okay here's the block that I'm going to use. This one is a Green Mountain Star Block and it has a lot of half square triangles in it and a star in the center with flying geese units. So um, you can see here is our glass units on these four, the centers, the four centers. So I'm going to make this one into a table topper. And so I need to do what I do with any quilt is to layer it. So I have, go ahead and grab it here. Have my backing fabric, piece of batting, and this is, I believe it's a piece of soft and bright. This is a scrap left over in a, from a project from several years ago. And then I have my quilt block, so I just need to make sure everything there's enough uh, backing and batting surrounding it. It doesn't have to be perfectly squared up or anything. Um, and then I'm going to place some pens and I'm just going to use straight pens. You can use uh, safety pens which would actually be better. They'd be safer. So I'm going to place several of these in. Now I'm not putting a binding on or a, now I'm not putting a border on uh, this block and that's because the top of that table that I want it to go on is 17 by 20 and this is already a 16 inch block so I really don't have add anything to it. I could add a half inch all the way around it and that's about all I could do so that's not even worth the effort so I'm just going to just go with just the block and then I'll use an aqua colored binding on it so I'm going to use this here for the binding and if um, you've seen any of my previous videos of uh, sampler quilts that I've quilted uh, you'll know you'll recognize that fabric I bought a lot of that fabric and I'm still using it so it's going a long way. Okay so I think that's pretty good. So my plan for this is an elaborate. I'm just going to use straight stitching again because I am not proficient at doing free motion on my domestic machine. So it's just going to strictly be straight line stitching and I'm going to be using my walking foot and uh, we'll see how it goes. So uh, I'll adjust the camera and uh, get started quilting this. Now I don't have much of a specific plan for quilting this, but one thing I am going to do is based around the edges to hopefully keep this from uh, distorting too much. So um, I'm just going to give myself a long stitch, do about a 4.0 and just stitch all the way around. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do some corner to corner quilting 
and I'm going to go down to I'm going to do a 3.0 and let's see if I can sew straight so I'm just going from that point to this one to this one and then down just quilt off. Now the smart thing to do would be to mark all my quilting lines before I get started. But I didn't do that. So okay let's do the opposite corner. that much. I'm going to go ahead and remove all of these other pins. So there's not many in there anyway and I think I've got this stabled enough, stabilized enough that uh, they're not going to be needed. Okay. I want to look at it again decide what else I want to do. I think what I'll do is I'm going to go from the middle of this direction. So Right about there. Okay, I want to do some more point to point. I'm going to go all the way around here, point to point around this star. So I'm going to start here. That's going to mean stitching in the ditch in some places, but that's okay.
Okay, one thing you can do is to look at the back as you're quilting to see if you like what's going on and if you think you've got enough quilting. Like here, um, you know, this is getting about what I want. Uh, I still need, I still want to do some more quilting in here. These spaces are um, too big, I think. I think I need to do more quilting in here. So now I need to decide how to do that. So let's see. Let's start here. Got that, and here is the back. So, um, got more quilting in there. I think I need to outline the star. Maybe these points here, or maybe let me just do the. I'm just going to do the square. I think that would be the simplest thing to do. Okay, so there that extra quilting right here. It's 
what I just did and I think that took care of the fullness that I was worried about there. So now I just need to do something about these outer corners. Okay, so here's the marking that I did. So I'm going to go from this point off the edge, that point off the edge, and then I'm going to kind of cut this into two sections there. So that is the plan. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get this taken care of. Okay, so this is what it looks like at this point. And here's the back. So, um, it looks pretty even, I think. Okay, so now I just need to trim it and bind it. Thanks for watching. For more quilting ideas, click on the video links. And to keep up with my latest projects, click on the subscribe button. I hope to see you again soon.